Hey, I'm Chris, and today I'm going to show you how to do animated titles like this in LumaFusion. You're going to need three things, a clip, LumaFusion, and Keynote. So let's dive in. Start off by opening Keynote. If you don't have this, it's a free download on the App Store. Create a new presentation, clear off any contents, and set the background color to a bright green. Next, you're going to add some text to the presentation by tapping the plus icon and dragging it onto the canvas. Now customize the font, color, and size to suit your needs. Now you've created the text for your title, click and tap on Animate. At the bottom of the screen, tap on the Add Build In button and scroll until you find Move In. Once you've selected this, tap on the X at the far left. Now click on Move In once again, and here is where you'll set your parameters for the animation. I want the text to come in from the right, so I'll set the direction to From Right. I'll also remove Bounce as I'm not a huge fan of this animation. And now I'll set the entry speed of the text. What we need to do now is create the appearance that the text is coming out of nowhere. I'll do this by adding a large box to the right of the text. I'll then set the color to match the background. To test it, simply hit the play button and tap the screen. Now our title is designed, we're going to export it as a movie file so we can use it in LumaFusion. Tap the three dots in the top right corner, select export, then movie, and pick the highest quality. To make sure the clip is a decent length, we're going to set the next slide option to 12 seconds. Once exported, open up LumaFusion and drag the video file on top of your clip. Now just like my animated handwriting tutorial, head to the effects panel and add a green screen key. Adjust the parameters to match and be sure to tweak it as much as you can to make sure the text is crystal clear. Once you've done this, trim it, position it and scale it how you wish and you're done with our first example. Now for our second example, we're going to make the text appear as if it's coming from behind an object on a moving clip. To do this, we'll repeat everything from the first example, but when it comes to the reveal, we will need to take advantage of the keyframe tool. You'll need to go one frame at a time and adjust the position each time to track the pan or movement of the camera. The steadier the pan and the straighter the edge of the object, the easier it will be. Simple, right? So let me show you something that takes a little less time, but gives you so much more freedom to be creative. This is my third and final technique, the lower thirds title. Producing a lower thirds title is all about your style and what you have in mind. For my example, I'm going to use shapes and text to create a multi-level animation with a title and a subtitle. Start by designing the final look of your title. My effect will be to reveal the red box followed by the title, then the black box below followed by the subtitle. The animation process is exactly the same as before, but we can speed things up by copying and pasting the animation settings onto each object. To animate each piece one after another, we are going to use the Build Order tool. Select the second slide and tap Start Build. Then select After Build. Then repeat this for each layer below. If you want to add a delay, you can do so at this stage as well. To finish it off, add another green box for that reveal look, export it to LumaFusion, and repeat the same final steps from our previous examples. And that's really all there is to it. With Keynote, you really can go the distance, and it's only limited by your imagination and creativity and the time you're willing to put in. So if this video helped you, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.